friends. Okay, I'm just getting ready to take this off, but I wanted to show you. I've been playing with a few things this week. Um, I got some acrylic paint pens. I got white, gold, and silver. Thinking, because when I was doing these, I said, I wonder if you couldn't just draw it on. So then, of course, I had to try it. The white, I did polka dots here with a layer of top coat. And it did not smear, and also it kept them totally safe. Now, I did polka dots here without top coat. So, for three days, you can see how many of the polka dots didn't last. They kind of just rubbed off. But I'm surprised at how many lasted. But, of course, with top coat, it wouldn't matter, right? And then, okay, over here, and these are, well, you can see a teeny bit of gold here. These are basically gone. I just was doodling on them with gold and silver. I didn't use any top coat on them, and I don't even think they made it 10 minutes before they wiped off. Now, these are silver polka dots. Didn't smear with top coat, and with top coat, they were totally fine. So, something to keep in mind, and something I will be playing with soon, because I am, I am super excited to play with it, so... Hello, 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 friends. How's everybody doing? All right. We are doing figure it out. Now this, I just split these when I sealed them. It's Hoppin' Dots. It's that new Easter one. Um, easily the best Easter one if you're asking me. So it's like a snowy white versus a hard white. And it is a cream versus a pearl. Like, all these are plus sides for me. And then it's sprinkled with, like, a dark purple um, and maybe a little hollow glitter. I don't know, but I really like it. Also, the glitter is definitely a random thing. Because look right here. I got one little spot where there's no glitters. Just exactly right there. Can you see that? exactly right there between those two dots not a single glitter landed that day not one anyway i love these this rabbit is too much for me honestly it's so damn adorable and floral charm which is um in coco japan colored overlay and we're gonna play with that Okay, so figure it out. I picked because uh, I like that one. No, I picked it because I wanted a darker color to kind of just pull things together and give it a little, maybe a little darker feel overall. I don't know if it is or not. We'll see once I get it on. Oh my God, it's you guys. They're so cute. But if you have, okay, I think it's called What's the 411? It's that purple one that looks like Hubba Bubba Bubblegum. And it might not be What's the 411. It might be something else. What's the 411? That might be um, the pink bubblegum one. Shoot. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. But I feel like these um, polka dots are really great colors. They are not uh, the usual pastel situation. So I'll take that. And we are working on um, recipe number two. Again, if you'll remember, recipe number two is doing full nails, but adding some kind of an accent. Hello, fig. And we are going to fancy up fig a little bit. If I can get this off my pinky, then we will. If I can't get it off, then we can't do it. Hi, welcome. My name's Stacy. Welcome to my sassy styles. <coughs> Allergies, you guys, right now. Whoops. I didn't mean bump ya. Allergies right now are a bonkers. Bonkers high. And I do wonder... Because we really didn't have a winter. The winter that never was. That's what Minnesota had this year. Um, there it is, you guys. Super, super cute. Super cute. Love it. I love it. Um, since we didn't really have a winter, does that mean allergies will be 
higher or lower? I don't know because right now they've been super high for us for like, I don't know, a couple weeks, I guess. But I mean, in general, springtime allergies are high, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an allergy professional. I just play one on TV. You could have done a a bold pink would be awesome. Um, I'll slow and steady would be too soft. I can't think of a green that would hit that spot on. The green I would put with it is that palmetto one, but that's it in cocoa color. And I don't know about this yellowy orange, what I would put with it. Actually, probably the yellow from Breaking Plaid. But that's an older set, and you can't get just that. And You know, like, you, it doesn't necessarily work. So if you're new here, welcome. If you've been hanging out and you haven't subscribed, girl, just do it. It's free. You don't have to watch every video. Just watch when you feel like it. Or when something strikes your fanciful. I try to strike your fanciful as much as I can. Like with this lovely recipe series. So what's recipe two consist of? Recipe two consists of full nail. I will say that's probably the most used in general population. Now, in Sassy Crew, which is my Facebook group, an extension of my channel where I can interact more and do um, different games like right now we're doing spring and summer bingo um, live videos that kind of thing it's just like where I can get more done it's hard to get to be very interactive on YouTube anyway um, I think our population does more negative space than the rest of the Color Street population. So shout out to us, you guys. Um, in general, I find us to be um, more daring, more artsy, more willing to like give it the go. So I love that about us. And I know that like in Nailfi groups, you'll see plenty of art stuff but most of the time it's stylists and I understand you know stylists are trying to draw in um community or whatever I'm not a stylist I don't know if I said that when I started I'm just trying to get people to realize all you can do which is a lot Okay, so far so good. Easy, easily peasily, you guys. Pancake and I have a favorite game we like to do. When I'm petting his head, I always like run my hand along his shoulder and down to his paw, and then put my hand on his paw, and then he pulls his paw and puts it on my hand. It's the you know who can be on top, right? It's a favorite game of ours. My um, arthritic pointer finger has definitely shared its issues with my thumb as of late. So I've been wearing my little arthritis band to bed. Or not band. Thing, this thing. You know. This thing. Put it on your finger. Keep it straight. That thing. But I've been wearing it on my thumb. Um, <laughs> and I went to bed the other night. In the middle of the night. I wake up and my thumb was like throbbing. Arthritis is stupid. Anyway, um, and I'm feeling around the bed like, where did it go? I, it's that is not something that normally happens. I don't normally lose it in the middle of the night or take it off or whatever because it's not uncomfortable. I mean, to the contrary, it makes it livable, I guess. Anyway, so I'm feeling all over. Oh, biscuit, that didn't quite reach. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to think how I can doctor that. Um, feeling around. I couldn't find it. 
pan was laying up by my head. So then I just reached up and petted his head a couple times because he was stretching around when I was reaching around. Uh, reach up to pet his head a couple times and run my hand around his shoulder to pat, pat, pat his paw. In his little paws, this is him. He just was holding the arthritis brace perfectly. <laughs> little jerk. I don't know if he took it off and I didn't notice or if he was just like chewing on it and it slid off type of deal. <laughs> he is so funny. So I stole it back from him and we were back in business. I know this isn't going to, you know, line up perfectly, but it'll be okay, friends. It'll be okay. So, anyway, that's the story for that. Um, last year, last spring, actually, I can't even say just spring, because it was like, Spring through summer. We had so much hail, you guys. So much hail. Uh, two summers in a row, actually. And Dathan's a contractor. I don't know if I've said that before. I feel like I have. But anyway, he does, you know, whatever. All stuff, remodel and building and junk. So a hailstorm is always good for them, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> multiple hailstorms even better some of those poor people ended up getting like roofs and roofs and siding done multiple times um and ours has been patiently waiting because that's how it works when it's your own house and so this week um him and a couple of his buddies busted it out i think they're down to just the last bit tomorrow which is great, but on the very downside, the very sad side of life, they took out my skylights in the sunroom because they were getting, like, leaky spots, he said. Now, I hadn't noticed any leaking yet. And so, of course, then I was like, no, you just hate my skylights, which he does. And if you know any contractors, they probably hate them also because they just are prone to being a pain right to leaking and such anyway go buy skylights sad story sad story for beef who likes to run around on the roof and look in at us <laughs> yeah he likes to peek in at the bunnies <laughs> so sunroom a little less sunny now that's dumb but the first day, you guys, was so hard because, I mean, Pan was, like, running around with his tail full out puffed up the entire day. He was so scared. And then, um, Beef just took off. He was like, no effing way, I will not stay here during this. We are under attack and you don't seem to care and I'm leaving. And so he left and didn't come home until after 7, which was getting me worried. Uh, day 2, we all just, like, we're like, whatever. We pretend we're not hearing this now. Day 3, no one cared. Beef was out there charming the helpers on the roof, rubbing legs and being the little uh, friend that he is. I said, was he like, hey, buddy, got any snacks in your pocket? You look like a guy who'd have snacks. <laughs> okay, fig going down. And I trim that base of my nail because I have very square nail beds. And that way I won't get the rounded corners leaving peeps of nail out because that's something I despise badly. I mean... I think probably for everyone, your thumb is just like your best, I don't know, you know, it's like your biggest art space. For me, they're always the easiest to keep long for some reason. I don't know, they're just the, 
it's just my best nail, you guys. Thumb, then ring finger, for sure. Anyway, so I would like for it to look somewhat decent if I can. And it can't look decent if the edges are full on peeping out. Right there, I messed it up, but it's okay because I'm going to fix it with my art. I do have down my huge, which is this Nail Teaks Formula 2 Plus. It's the pink bottom to bottle. Um, started using it in December. When I get used through it, I'll switch to the blue one. And I will keep you updated as I go. I mean, as of right now, I haven't been using it long enough to probably notice too much of a difference. My nails weren't in horrid condition. But I definitely get some peeling. Now, on the flip side of that, you guys, I do have psoriasis. So, my peeling could be totally unrelated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it could be a psoriasis thing. So, uh, if it is, it is. That's okay. It is. Listen, I've lived this long with it. I'll be okay. But I also thought, you know, it's not going to hurt to give that a try, right? Because maybe it's something else where that can, like, fix it or whatever. And if it can't, it's okay. But if it can, that'd be great. Let me get these. Smoothed down good. Okay. Oh, fig is gorgeous, isn't it? It's every eggplant's dream right on your finger. Okay. Now, first things first, I'm going to take this guy and cut him in half-ish, I believe. And we're going to use that as a little... Slanty pop of pokey dots. Just for fun. You know. Because you got that little baby strip. Which I know many of you can use it for your pinky. Now I think I can use the wide end for my pinky. Um, but not the skinny end. So for me, I save it to use for little artsy bits instead. It's also great for punching out stuff. But it's perfection for making this little bit of a slant. Maybe. Everything feels a little extra sticky today. Oh, we're doing this, you guys. Did I even say why we're doing this? I'm not doing this for Easter. We're hopping into spring. Did I say that yet? Shoot. I might not have. Anyway, we're hopping into spring. That is dang adorable on there, you guys. Totally cute. But it's gonna get better. Stacy, how could it get better? Sweet and see. Sweet and see. So cute, you guys. So cute. I thought about punching out little flowers out of these polka dots. Oh my god, that would be adorable. Like, if you didn't want to use the polka dots, if you were like, no, I don't want a full finger of them. Like, I don't know why you would say that, but maybe you said that. Um, You could do a darker color, like how I did with Fig, and then use them, like, as a punch-out flower, or to use them as slants like this. You could go deeper in your slant. That'd be super cute. And then just use your bunny as your one light finger. Like, if that's what it is, if you're struggling using, you know, the softer color, I get it. Dude, I get it. Dude. Okay, now, we're going to take these. And see how I do. So what I'm going to do is leave the plastic on because it helps it hold. And then lay it down here. Let me get my tweezers. I just stuck something on there, but I don't care. Because I'm not using this whole strip. I do need a sip. Sippy, sippy. Okay, I probably need a little nappy napkin. 
because I think I have used this obviously to make polka dots. I wonder. I think I'm going to put it on here because I couldn't see it very well. There we go. I couldn't really see it on the black. So all I'm doing is dotting it on the flowers as gently as I can. We'll see. This is a very, very soft set, you guys. Um, the colors are very soft. So I might just, you know, it might just look dumb. And if it does, that's okay. Then I won't use it for this. It's no big deal. But if it works, it is going to be really cute. And there is a very slight silver, sparse silver glitter also to this set. So I do have my Northern Lights out so that I can use it over everything so I get that silver glitter then through my whole nail. I mean, I don't think it's very good. I think the colors, I think this is too um, watercolory almost. Yeah. I don't like that. I wanted to do it in the corners is what I was going to do with it. No, I don't like that though. It's okay, you guys. Okay, one sec. Mm. Well, I don't really have anything I would rather it be. So, I think what I'll do is just leave it, um, you know, as it is with this bit of polka dotty. Or I could, no, I was going to say I could use, I could cut out some, yeah, maybe I will. I will. Let's open these dots out, take out a dot strip, and do a couple flowers. Like, I just feel like I wanted more on that finger, you guys. So, let's see. What sizes do we got? Well, we got another baby. Let's see if we can use it. One more baby. Oh God, come on, you can do it. No, I can't really. I'm gonna put these with this because I do think these would go together really well and I could use like, um, I don't know what, I'd have to match the white up, maybe Chasing Clouds or something like that with this and then put the flowers on the other one and I do think it'd be really cute because this is such a cute overlay, you guys. But it's just so um, watercolory is the only word I can think of for it. Where it's not like a super solid print. All right, well, we don't need this then. But I do want. I mean, what do we use for spring? These are cute. Let's use this kind and see how that looks. Is that a tulip, you think? I think so. All right. Let's try it. See if we can get two of them out of it. I gotta see where it's at in there. Hmm. 
I'm probably off screen, but hey, we did that pretty good. And now this side, I'm going to trim that part off so I can look in here. Oh, those are good. That's the hardest part about these ones is that you're doing it blind. Did I get two? One. Oh, he tried to trick me. Get out of there, bugger. Okay. Yeah, okay, these will be cute. Good call. Good call, friends. And I think I'm going to have it growing up a little off-center. But like to the side where I don't have the slat. Yeah. Okay, shut up now. That's cute. Super cute. Good call. And then this little guy. There's always a hair on there. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> They're really cute. They're really cute. Okay, love them. A Dora Beeple. A Dora Beezel. Alright, let's do... Now, um, nail friend Lydia from the UK sent me these. Sparkle Supplies UK. They're the teeniest little bright summer color gems. And so what I thought was, I'm going to pour them on this napkin. Well, not all of them. I hope not all of them. And then what I'll do is take this Northern Lights. Let's do this little finger here and these gems are like fairly flat for what gems usually are so I thought it would be fun just to put some on the like their matching dot oh dang it it dried too fast in it son of a that's the <laughs> that's the downside the stuff that sets really fast. Okay, you can't be indecisive. You just gotta be like bing bang de boom de. Come on, flip. And I'm not covering every single, you guys. I'm not. Is there not a purple? Wait, what's that? That's blue. Well, I'll put a blue on my purple. Put an orange on my orangey yellow. No, you won't because it dried. Son of a. That's okay. They, they really do set fast, you guys. And then you got to make sure. You top coat over them. They don't set fast. Like the gems don't make it happen. It's just that I'm using Northern Lights. <coughs> and that does set fast. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Now, let's do my thumb. I'm going to hold this bottle to help me keep it steady. Good Lord, I got a lot of it on there. That's okay, though. What's on there? Orange. Orangey yellow. Okay. Pink. Purple. I don't have purple in here, I don't think. So I'm covering the purple with the blue. Green. Oh my god. Shush. <gasps> you guys. It's so cute. What else? I could use this yellow. 
I mean, here's the thing, is it totally covers, um, no, it's too dry, totally covers the dot, so it's not a big deal if you don't, like, if it isn't, oh, I wonder, actually, <gasps> let's do that, and I know I just tinkered with how smooth that was, but I can fix it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Hang on. I do... Well, no, I won't do that yet. I want more glitter from this. It needs to be reshaken. But first, let me do this finger also with its gems. Ooh, I love these, you guys. This set needed the fig. For me, it needed something um, darker. I'm not going to keep saying things like, for me, I would like to know, no, I would like to assume, and you know you're not supposed to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I would like to assume, if they, you're sitting here watching me do my nails, that I'm going to be giving my own opinions. I'm not probably going to be trying to match yours, okay? So if you are like... Stacy, you should be saying what I think. Then you have to have your own channel so you can say what you think. That's just how things go. Damn it, that get too dry. It did. It dries so fast, you guys. And then I painted my whole side of my finger. Which is not anything new. If you've been here, you know it. Little panties just snoring away by me. Okay, now let's do a few on the middle. I really wanted to be able to incorporate some kind of floral to make it spring. I mean, I love that the bunny's wearing the flower headband, but I wanted it to be more than just like, I don't want it to just feel Eastery, right? I want it to be like spring-ish also. You son of a... No, it's just too set. Dang it. I mean, it's like seconds, you guys. That it sets up. Which is good, but still. There. All right. Leave that there because I will just pour those back in. And then what I'm going to do is give this baby a quick shaky shaky. Because I want it thicker. Like I don't really see much. Mm, a little. But not much on there. I want to see more on there. I should have pulled up my... um, What's it called? Farmer's Almanac and... Found some spring facts, but I feel like they're pretty, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We know how the seasons work, so. Add a big drip on there. I don't mind a big drip on there, but. Now we definitely won't lose those gems. You guys, I've never had a problem with losing gems, ever. Once I've top coated them, they're good to go. And now, I did Northern Lights because I wanted that glitter. I wanted the silver glitter. I was trying to kind of, at least a bit, match up with the nails. Um, but tomorrow, before I take pictures, I will go over this with my Gelish because it's way shinier. It's, it's more mirrored. Painted the whole side again. Oh, you guys. I need to do Top Coat 101 classes for myself. 
how not to paint your whole finger. This set is adorable, super cute. I'm guessing we'll see people kind of cut that bunny out and stick him. People with better skills than me, that's for sure. All right, here we go, friends. Now, also would be adorable to use fig with that little you know, little slant on all of them and then use the bun and it would pull the purple glitter out more too. Either way, super cute. Happy spring, my friends. See you next week.